Good evening, everyone, and thanks for joining us on your Friday. I'm Sophie Erber. Job growth in the U.S. slowed much more than expected during the month of July, and unemployment rates ticked higher, fueling fears of a broader economic slowdown. KCAU 9's Washington correspondent Rashad Hudson reports on what this means for the overall state of our economy. It's our top story at 5. The U.S. economy added 114,000 jobs in July, while the unemployment rate rose to 4.3 percent much weaker than what economists predicted. It has now risen nine-tenths of one percent from the more than 50-year low. The unemployment rate is now at its highest level since October 2021. Mark Hamrick with Bankrate says people are worried the economy is slowing more than expected. I think a caution light uh, has been raised with respect to the future direction of the U.S. economy. Some of the industries that did increase hiring were healthcare, construction, and government. The real problem here is that in the past couple of months, we've had more jobs creation in government than might typically be the case. All eyes will be on the Federal Reserve's September meeting where economists expect an interest rate cut. I would think that, it, that a, a rate cut could be on the table. Federal Reserve Chair Jerome Powell says there are a lot of factors that go into the decision. If, if inflation were to prove uh, you know, stickier and we were to see higher readings from inflation, disappointing readings, we would weigh that along with the other things. Powell says the economy still remains strong. Reporting in Washington, Rashad Hudson. Many Siouxland communities are continuing their repairs following June's historic floods, but North Sioux City, South Dakota has faced many other obstacles in this recovery process. On August 1st, North Sioux City announced that residents along Penrose and North Shore Drive would not see any construction progress in the coming weeks. The city says this is so they may take the proper steps to ensure the maximum FEMA reimbursement for the repairs in those areas. As of right now, South Dakota is still waiting on a disaster declaration signed by the president in order to receive FEMA aid. And McCook Lake residents are growing tired of waiting. Time is not our friend right now. You know, we can't, if we want to attempt to try to save anything, it has to be done now or never. Because it's going to reach a point that it's completely unsalvageable and it's just not going to be worth it in the cost. You know, we're going to end up paying double or triple for a house just to fix it and save it with no guarantee that this won't happen again. North Sioux City says construction will resume once bids and contracts can be signed and also weather permitting. The Sioux City Explorers had a rough start to their morning when the team bus caught on fire. According to the Explorers pitcher and Iowa State Representative J.D. Scholten, that bus caught fire at around 3 in the morning while the team was traveling to Kane County. He says no one was injured. However, a few items like gloves, hats, and even a pillow and a PlayStation 5 were damaged in that fire. The Sioux City Explorers manager, Steve Montgomery, released a statement saying the team is relieved no one was injured and adds the Explorers are working with authorities to determine what exactly caused the fire and how to prevent future incidents. Scholten tells us the team was able to get on a new bus later in the morning. They face the Kane County Cougars tonight at 6.30. The city of Sioux City has announced when a water main replacement project is set to begin. According to the City Engineering Division, the Pierce Street water main replacement project between 4th and 5th Streets will start Monday, August 12th. Officials say Pierce Street will remain open for thoroughfare traffic with parking restricted in that work zone. Sidewalks will remain available for pedestrian traffic and for business access. Work set to be complete within 35 working days after construction begins. Meanwhile, a portion of another Sioux City street set to close. The City Engineering Division revealed the Castleman Street south of West 19th Street will close this coming Monday. That will allow for a contractor to perform utility connections in the roadway. There will be a detour posted using Burton, West 4th, and Castleman Streets. Work set to be complete by next Saturday. So a quick turnaround on that project. And, of course, a lot of these things are weather permitting. We're in the heart of construction season. As you well know, there in Siouxland, Chief Meteorologist Victor Perez, uh, it's set to be another hot weekend for us, Victor. 
That will be the case. We're still seeing 90s. We're back to 90s, and we've seen a gain for most of Sioux Lane of about 5 degrees, with some of the eastern locations gaining almost 10 degrees, which, with humidity still in the 60s, means that uh, heat index values have been pushed up uh, well into the mid and upper 90s, with some close to 100. As we'll see, that our daytime high rose all the way up to 93 degrees, almost 10 degrees above what is typical for these early days of August. So right now, we're normally trending towards slightly cooler temperatures than what we saw in July, but we'll be seeing that we're still dealing with hot weather for the first weekend of August, but I'll let you know how we'll be cooling down soon. Sophie? Thanks, Victor. With wind gusts reaching 75 miles an hour this past Monday, the cable and pulleys on the Woodbury Courthouse flagpole have been damaged. That pole reaching 85 feet high. County officials are now looking for contractors with expertise who are able to do this kind of a repair. But there's one problem. There are no local vendors who do this in our area. While in the past, they've been forced to hire outside vendors to repair the pole, county officials need to make sure this is done as economically and safely as possible. The problem with fixing the cable and or painting the flagpole is, uh, firstly, it's an expensive process, and vendor sourcing is, is probably the hardest. Uh, there are not a lot of tall buildings in the Midwest. This is more common like on the east or west coast. As of tonight, no set date for the start or completion of that project, but we will be sure to update this story when that information becomes available. Meanwhile, if you are cleaning up after the severe weather we've had in recent days, there are a few rules for disposing your tree debris, at least in Sioux City proper. The city says tree and yard debris can be taken to the Citizen Convenience Center if you pay $17 per truckload or $22 per ton. Branches and limbs that are under four feet in length and under two inches in diameter can be bundled and actually placed directly in your garbage bin so garbage collectors can take them away. The bundles must weigh less than 35 pounds total and have a solid waste sticker attached. The city says the branches and limbs must not have any building material or garbage in it when you do throw it out. KCAU 9 once again proud to host Cause for Paws, our annual push to support local shelter pets and those who care for them. From now through August 31st, you could drop off donations or pet supplies directly here at the KCAU 9 studio, or you could drop it off at one of our partner locations. That's Velocity Clinical Research or either Baumgar's location on Hamilton Boulevard or on Gordon Drive. And the donations all go to Noah's Hope Animal Rescue. If you need ideas on what to donate, they do have a wish list. We've provided that in this story on our website right now at SiouxLandProud.com.